but but think about Jesus before he started his ministry. What did the, what did the father speak? So just like your your dad spoke over your your adopted son when Jesus was baptized, he said, "This is my beloved son in whom I'm well pleased." It was an identity statement of affirmation before Jesus ever did anything. Like this is before he goes and preaches. This is before he goes and raises the dead. This is a father opening up heaven and speaking. And then from that place, Jesus was able to navigate 40 days fasting and, and battling with the enemy. And then he came out of that under the power of the Holy Spirit into Galilee and started his ministry. And so for us, uh, we we value the voice of God uh, so, so much. We try to teach people how to discern the voice Absolutely. of God, whether obviously in the word, but also in prayer and talking. And so from his voice, which I love how you said that you heard heard the father said this is your son which i love that uh, we got a lot in common man but we try to teach people his voice but then we try to say okay what are you believing wrongly about yourself and so maybe even today if somebody's listening and, and maybe you just need to pull back at some point today and say god man what i'm what lie am i believing about myself today what what identity have i believed from a parent from a spouse from a previous boss from whoever and so we teach people to confess. That's just telling the truth. So, man, I take some time and I say, man, today, man, I'm believing I'm not enough, which I think every man and woman on the earth has ever had that thought. I'm not enough. I'm not good enough. I'm a failure. I'm I'm all alone. I'm yeah. scared. You know, all these things. So we tell the Lord the truth here. He knows it. And then we really try to say, OK, now give space to the Lord. Just ask him, what do you call me? What do you want me to know about me today? If you really have as many thoughts towards me as sand on the shore, as David says, then Jesus Tell me one thing you see in me today. Who am I? And so that's not a one-time thing. That's a lifestyle that we try to cultivate in our church, our people to be rooted in who they are. And so for me, the Lord calls me his transformational path blazer. And so everything that I do ministry-wise, leading-wise, it's rooted in that. So I know when an opportunity comes, if it doesn't require me to be a path blazer, to lead to a new territory, that's not mine to do. And that's so freeing that I don't have to be everything to everybody, you know? So I'm, I love that we're talking about this today. And I think, honestly, pastors um, are near and dear to my heart because so many of us have operating out of brokenness, operating out of um, uh, obligation more than identity. And uh, and there's so much freedom. And and just let me say a word to the pastors. If you're listening today and uh, you're burnt out and you're wore out, uh, I just want you to know that's not the Lord's desire for you. Uh, he has given you everything you need to be what he calls you to be, not what another pastor is. And so I'd encourage you to get some time today even just to say, man, what am I believing wrongly? What am I, what lie am I believing? And then confess that out, get that out. And then just ask him to speak to you. I'm telling you, that's where transformation, his voice, believing rightly, that's where that Romans 12, 1 happens, 12, 1 and 2 is being transformed as for mind is renewed. But 